Welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. I'm James Nave. I'm Allegra Houston. And every Saturday we gather with a group of writers and we generate a piece of written work that didn't exist before we gathered on the Zoom call. And what we would like to do now with you is show you how we do that. So what we will do is start out with an image. Allegra, tell us about that image. Well, no, I'm actually not going to tell you anything at all about that image. I'm going to let you just work with it. But this is what we do um, every week, twice a week, Saturdays and Thursdays. And by the way, please join us live on Zoom if you would like to. And you'll find all that information at imaginativestorm.com in the footer. It's on the footer of every page. So this is how we do it. We put up an image um, or audio. In fact, this week, it's both. It's an image with audio for two minutes on the screen. And we ask you to generate a list of words or short phrases, just a list, not joined up writing, whatever pops into your head as you look at the image and listen to the audio. So we'll time you. Don't worry about that. And here's your image now. So you now have your personal list generated from the image and the sound that we that you just experienced. So when we are on the Zoom call every Saturday and every Thursday, we go around the Zoom room and we collect one word or phrase from each person on the call. And everybody on the call writes the, the words and the phrases down on their list. So they have a community list. So since uh, you're not on the call and you're here, we would like to give you our community list. So you'll have your personal list as well as your community list. So Allegra is going to read that list for you now. And you can write these words down and we recommend that you do write them down. But if you don't, don't worry about it. We will put them up again on the screen during the 10 minute writing time. So here they are. White noise, swampy, crunching, lotus heaven, mud green, reflection, ancestors echoes, steps up and out, marsh palace, sighing echoes, take me home, stillness, post and beam, forever funneling, nature trained, yodel echo. Interior Bayou, Mystery Shack, Ozark Yodeling, Walk on Water, Meditation, Seeing Sound, Hearing Color, Call of the Bayou, Coming Home, 
alligator love song. They're all gone now. Come to me. I am here. Silence. Call and response. Rot. Morning chant. Past picnic. Human critters. Pray for me. Baptismal steps. So after we read the work aloud, and on Saturday morning, someone volunteers to read the, the list aloud like Allegra did, we move into our 10-minute timed writing, and that's all we do. We write for 10 minutes on Saturday morning to generate something that didn't exist before. So that's what we're where we're headed right now. So you have your personal list, and you have uh, our community list. And so what we would like for you to do is to work with both of those lists, take one image, two or three, or maybe more, and, and work with them in a piece of writing. Allegra, you want to elaborate a little bit more on that? Yeah, so don't feel that you have to use all the words or even lots of the words or even multiple words. You can just start with one and see where it takes you and never return to the list of words at all. Or you can keep coming back to those lists for more toys for your imagination to play with. The goal of this is to let your imagination take the lead. Your imagination is in the driver's seat. Your rational mind is in the passenger seat. It is just going along for the ride. And whatever your imagination wants to do, whatever weird combo of, of words it wants to put together, go with it. Let it happen and surprise yourself. The goal is not to write something good. You know, it's only 10 minutes. How can you possibly write something good in 10 minutes? In fact, you can, but it doesn't make sense as a goal. The goal of 10 minutes is simply to surprise yourself. Give yourself interesting material that maybe later you'll work up into something else, but you're energized by it. You're intrigued by it. You don't quite know where it came from or what it means, but you want to work more with it. So how do you get those nuggets to start from? Like this, by just letting your imagination take the lead for 10 minutes and see what happens. And your 10 minutes begins now.
now you have a piece of writing that didn't exist 10 minutes ago. That's what's beautiful about this work. It's original, it's present, and it belongs to you. What we do after everybody writes, we go into Zoom rooms and we ask people to read their work aloud. So we are going to give you that opportunity as well. So what I'd like for you to do is to put us on pause and just read your work. And if somebody's in the room with you, feel free to read it to them or just read it to yourself and listen to how your voice wraps around the, the words that are on the page and comes out as a spoken word piece. So put me on pause or put us on pause and, and you're on. When you read your work aloud, you develop a different sort of relationship with your writing and you notice what you like more than what you don't like. And that's the opposite of reading silently on the page. That's why we encourage you to read your work aloud. That if you would like to share it further, we have a platform called Circle, Imaginative Storm on Circle, where you can post what you wrote to this prompt and indeed all the other prompts that you'll find here on our YouTube channel. And you will also be able to read what other people wrote to that prompt. So again, it's a place for appreciation rather than criticism. It is really fascinating to see the extraordinary imaginative range that, um, that a group of people can come up with inspired by the same prompt. So if you would like to go to the circle, simply go to imaginativestorm.com, go to the community page, and you will see Imaginative Storm on Circle. Just click there and you'll be on the circle. It's free also. You just have to make a login name and password and then you're in. And when you go to imaginativestorm.com, you'll also see some live workshops that we're doing, as well as other kinds of resources you can use to, to develop your writing, to, to engage in, in what you're trying to tell the world. So imaginativestorm.com is a great place to, to start, and it's a great place to stay, and we appreciate that support. The image, where did that come from? That image was taken recently by... Our good friend, Walter Parks, he was in the Okefenokee Swamp. Did you see the alligator on the steps? If you didn't, go back in this YouTube video and check out that image and you'll see a little alligator sleeping on the steps. And the, the, the music was also provided by Walter Parks. So we combine the, the imagery and the music. And it's a, a research project Walter's doing about the hollers old ways that people who lived in the Okefenokee Swamp communicated over long distances through the water and the swamps and the, and the, and the trees and all of the things that are down there. So walterparks.com is how you can find out more about, about that. Um, well, about well, let's work. add, we'll add that he was collecting those hollers um, as part of a project for the Smithsonian Institution. Uh, indeed. It's, you know, it, it, important American heritage. Um, that he's working with there. So, and I am in Asheville, North Carolina, in 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 near a little cafe outside, and in, in at called Philo. And Allegra is in Taos, New Mexico. In case you're wondering where we're located, in my house. So, in her house. <laughs> so, thank you for being part of what we do. We really appreciate it. And please join us on Saturday or come back again and do more work with us. Once again, you'll find all of that at imaginativestorm.com. Thank you for joining us today. Goodbye.